I moved on her like a bitch. The Access Hollywood tape and the barrage of accusations from nearly a dozen women of sexual misconduct didn't exactly humble Donald Trump. The events never happened, never. All of these liars will be sued after the election. Trump's also threatened to sue NBC for the release of the Access Hollywood tape. He's threatened to sue the New York Times for reporting two of the accusers' accounts and for publishing several pages of his 1995 tax return. Donald Trump loves to sue and he has, and then he loves to threaten to sue because it scares people. Threatening to sue people and run up their legal biz bills is terrifying, and that's, that's a tactic that he's used. I can threaten to sue you. I have more lawyers than you do. You will lose. According to an analysis by USA Today, at least 70 lawsuits involving the president-elect are still open, and overall, he's been involved in more than 4,000 lawsuits. The general counsel for the Trump Organization tells CNN those numbers are grossly exaggerated, nowhere near accurate. But Trump did just settle three class action suits over claims of fraud at Trump University for $25 million. Trump's bare knuckle legal philosophy goes back at least to the early 1970s. The Justice Department was suing Trump, his father Fred, and their company for allegedly discriminating against minorities who wanted to rent apartments from them. Around that time, according to the book Trump Revealed, Donald Trump had a fateful first meeting with a New York legend. In a very down moment, Donald Trump went to a nightclub in Manhattan called Le Club, where he happened to meet Roy Cohn, who was famous for having defended Senator Joseph McCarthy back in the 1950s in the communist hunting days. From McCarthy to the mobsters he represented, Roy Cohn was a battler. Cohn's message to Trump in that nightclub conversation? Tell the government to, quote, go to hell. In that very first meeting, Cohn laid out for him his philosophy of how to fight back in a lawsuit, how to fight back against a federal investigation, and that was to hit back 10 times harder. If Trump sues the women who accused him, analysts say his legal claims are debatable, potential pitfalls numerous. What about the depositions? It's one thing to sue, but then you have to defend. He's going to have to answer questions. And it could lead to something politically dangerous for Donald Trump as his presidency leaves the gate. Bill Clinton, of course, got into litigation with Paula Jones regarding things that happened when he was governor of Arkansas. And that ultimately, uh, as a result of statements that he made under oath, led to impeachment charges being brought against him. And that's a good example for Mr. Trump to look at. Now, will President-elect Trump really follow through on his threat to sue nearly a dozen women who have accused him of sexual misconduct? The general counsel of the Trump Organization, Alan Garten, told me today the president-elect is focused on running the country, pursuing his political agenda, and removing distractions. So, Brianna, it looks maybe like he'll back down from some of that.